And on the other side of the aisle, gubernatorial candidate for North Carolina and Attorney General Josh Stein is also campaigning at ECU in Greenville. That's where we find our Merritt Morgan, who has been speaking with young voters about his visit. She joins us live now with more details. So Merritt, what was the turnout like there? Yeah, Courtney, it's been a really busy day here at ECU as voters on both sides of the aisle, as you mentioned, came out to ECU in support of both rallies. Now here at the Willis Building, Stein actually just wrapped up his. Now he did speak to voters about the importance of casting your ballot sooner rather than later and shared details about his vision for the state. He also highlighted his import or his accomplishments rather as attorney general over the last eight years. Some of those include protecting families from the opioid crisis and eliminating the backlog of untested rape kits. ECU College Democrats President Thomas Remington says it'll be interesting to see how November plays out. In 2020, President Biden lost the state by less than 75,000 votes and there were over 300,000 students who did not vote. That could have swung the election and would have swung the election. And I think this year it is just as important for races up and down the ballot. Carolina Journal is just one of many polls tracking the governor's race. It actually shows Stein ahead of Robinson in the polls. Stein's 49.3% is compared to Robinson's 35.8%. Now, I also reached out to Robinson's campaign, but unfortunately did not hear back. Reporting live at ECU, Merritt Morgan, WITN News. All right, thank you, Merritt. And Stein's rally with ECU students today is part of his NC Strong tour in Bladen, New Hanover, Pitt, and Wake counties.